Hi everyone, so in this video we're going to look at plotting complex numbers on an argand diagram. So if we consider z, which is our complex number, made up of a real part x and the imaginary part y, then the x-axis is the real component of the complex number. So the x we plot along with all the real axis, and the y-axis is the imaginary component of the complex number. So on this we call the imaginary component, and this will be where we plot y. So in example 1, show the complex numbers z1, z2 and z3 on an argand diagram. So we can see from z1 we've got a real part of 3 and an imaginary part of 1, of 1i. So in terms of plotting this on the argand diagram, we'll go 3 across from the origin and then 1 up for our imaginary i value. So we'll plot this our coordinates 3 and 1. This will be Z1. And then for Z2, we have 1 minus 2i. So we've got a real part of 1 and an imaginary part of negative 2. So coming from the origin, we'll go 1 in the real axis and then 2 down for the imaginary axis. So we'll plot this here. And we'll call this Z2. And then for Z3, well, you can see we've got negative 3 for the imaginary part, but 0 for the real part. So this will be 0 and negative 3, which we can plot here. And we'll call this Z3. So this is how you plot complex numbers on an argand diagram. Let's have a look at example 2. So in example 2, we're given three complex numbers, Z1, Z2 and Z3. And we've been asked to show Z1 plus Z2 on the argand diagram. So we'll say Z1 plus Z2. We'll add the real parts. So we'll add the 1 and the 1. This will give us 2. And then we'll add the imaginary parts. We've got 3i, a positive 3i, and negative 2i. So this will be 3 take away 2. This will be 2 plus i. So on our argand diagram, We'll have two on the real axis and one on the imaginary axis. And it will go here. We'll call this Z1 plus Z2. And then for part B, show Z1 times Z3 on the eigen diagram. So Z1 times Z3. We've got Z1, which will be 1 plus 3i. And Z3 minus 1 minus i. So if we expand out these brackets, we've got 1 times the negative 1, so negative 1, 1 times the negative i, so negative i, and then we've got the negative 3i, and finally we've got 3i times negative i, which is negative 3i squared. But if we think about what's going on with this negative 3i squared, we've got negative 3 times i, which is the square root of negative 1, all squared and the square root of negative one squared the square and square root will cancel so this will give us positive three so we'll have a negative one plus in this real component of three so two and then negative i minus three i which, which will give us negative four i so on our eigen diagram it'll be a coordinate of two and negative four this will be Z1 times Z3, okay?